Hi everyone, so welcome in this webinar where I will explain to you how to take Signal and the fundamentals of Forex trading. Let's start. What is the fundamental difference between Forex trading and binary option trading? The first very important is you can buy, for example, let me place an horizontal line here and let's say we make a put here. So when the price will reach this level, let's say we take a put in binary option. In Forex, you will have no limit of time. It means if the price cross the line, you still don't lose. And you can wait until the price cross against the line and go around here. And when you are here, you can sell your position. It may take 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, maybe more sometimes, but at least you have less risk to lose your trade than in binary option, especially when your support and resistance level is very strong. Because sometimes you will see a false breakout, so the price will go here, and if you take a binary, your ending time is here, so you lose your position, but it's a false breakout, like this doji here, and the price after that come back and finish here and you can sell it here so you are still in profit when in binary option you are not in profit. You have two types of entry when you enter in a forex trade. Most of the time when you right click on your chart you will have access to that on your MetaTrader 4 and here you will find new order. So let's start by that. The first possibility is to enter at the market execution and doing so it will create a difference between where you click and where you will really have placed your trade. So let's take an example. I will sell exactly now. If you are in real, most of them you will have a, a difference. So maybe if we sell here, it will place your order at this level. So you will have to, to wait or to take a higher time frame when you trade to have a minimum uh, important spread from the broker. So the market Execution is quite dangerous because it will not respect exactly your entry point. This is the main difference also between binary. On binary option, it will respect your entry point at one second uh, near, but it will be near exactly the level where you click. On Forex, if you take a market execution, so doing the same thing like that, market ex execution will create a little spread. It means there will be a difference between where you click where is the price at the moment and where really you enter in the market. And I don't consider you to enter this kind of trading because on real account it may it might make you enter at the wrong level. So what I conceal and what we will focus today is the pending order. In the pending order you have four different choices. The buy limit, the sell limit, the buy stop and the sell stop. And to explain, let's start with the buy limit. Your price is at 1.08949. To place a buy limit, the buy limit means you will place your order below the actual price and when it will reach, it will enter your trade in the direction for a buy, going long in Forex. So you have to place a price if you take a buy limit, let's say 1.08 895 so this will be my entry point and doing so you place your trade it should work yeah perfect so now you can see you have a line which will be so this line will be your entry point when the price will touch it automatically it will make a call or a buy for you at this specific level so this is a very good feature because in binary you have to wait your your level to be touched to enter your trade in Forex, it can take your trade automatically if you let your MetaTrader open and even if it's closed, I think the order is sent to your broker so it will be taken, whatever you do. Based on, on where the price is, you have the same feature, so new order still, pending order still, the sell limit. So the sell limit, compared to where your price is, it's like a counter movement trade, like a bounce you will have to place your price above the price to go in the downside direction. So let's say for example 1.09035 and you place your trade. Here is it. So a sell limit will act the same but your sell limit must be 
above the actual price action and it will take a counter trend direction trade this way and the buy limit will take a counter trend trade in this one now let's look at the two other the two other the first is the let's say the sell stop new order penny order and now we will select a sell stop so a sell stop will be a continuation of the direction of the price from where the price is so if you want to make a sell stop you will need to place a sr below the actual price action so for this example we will take 1.08895 and i place it so now when the price will touch this level it will enter not for a buy but for a sell position with unlimited time so this is how the sell stop works and the same applies to the buy stop so new order still pending buy stop so now your price must be above your price your actual price action so I will take 1.09 And with this order, you will enter the trade when the price will touch it and your direction will be going up. This is a buy position, this is a sell position. This also can be very good when you have a range, like we have here, and you want to trade the breakout of the range, so you place your pending order going for a buy here. Yeah, modify, so it will go exactly here. And you place your pending order for a sell stop going down at this exact level it means since the range is forming right now when the price will exit this tight range it might make a significant move up or down so placing your buy stop here and your sell stop here you will enter the trade automatically when the price will make a break of this zone and after that you will decide where you will exit your position take profit or if it goes against you where you scratch your position and exit your position with a minimizing loss now we will see what are a stop loss and what are a target profile so you see you can set in advance where you will enter your trade in every direction that you want to take using the pending order and sell stop buy stop buy limit buy stop then since there is a spread on the real account from the act this is a demo account but when you will go on real you will see your broker will not allow you to place a pending order very close to the price so it starts with 40 micro pips above or below the actual price and sometimes it is 100 micro pips above or below the actual price this is something that can be a little annoying because this is a disadvantage that the brokers give to you and it doesn't facilitate very quick trades and quick profits so you will have to to go on higher time frame like 30 minutes one hour to be able to attain the minimum required by your broker of spread to place your trade for example here for a call or here for a, for a put which which must be 40 micro pips or maybe 100 micro pips so this is the difficulty of the real account. That's why it's better to trade higher time frame in Forex because if you analyze the one hour chart, most of the time you don't have so much difficulty with the spread because you will place your entry point maybe here, which is already 100 micro pips from the actual price, price action. So it will meet the requirement from your broker automatically. So let's return to our 15 minutes and now let's place an order with a stop loss and a target profit so let's say as I said there is a range here I want to take my trade to enter here for a call when the price will make a breakout so it will be 108981 so 108981 yeah, this is my entry point where I think I can make good uh, just above the higher of the previous highest candle above the range when it will break here most likely this range will repulse the price up so I could I should make good profits 
and if it's a fake I will explain to you where I put my stop so my stop loss will be when it's a tight range like that it's good because you place your stop at the middle of the range in an aggressive way so my stop will be 1.08947 and so my target profit if I assume now there is quite good strain going up the candle tells me it's quite an uptrend good one so I place on the continuation of the actual trend and I want to make to be secure two times on this specific trade my risk my risk will be the difference between my entry point here and my stop loss this will be the money that I will put at risk so my reward will be for example this is 31 micro pips so from this I will take 60 for example micro pips which will be exactly 109042 so my target profit will be 1.09042 so at least pending order this will be a, yeah so this is a buy stop if it's not correct if you place a limit and it should be a stop it will not place your trade it will tell to you so this is the right way so it is a buy stop at this level going up when the price will touch it it will enter for a call and if it touch the stop loss it will exit my position with a loss and this is the volume that you have to select so you can select one lot one lot is equal to 100,000 units of the currency pair that you are trading. So in this case, it is 100,000 uh, dollars. And the leverage of your broker will permit you to buy that. And after you, you place your volume, but most of the time you, we will trade with a minimum volume of 0 0.1. And let's say we will trade, I will test one so I can show you the value that you put at risk so okay now my trade is placed and to see how much will cost your trade you put your cursor in this place and as you can see profit will be minus 34 USD buying one lot with this broker and this account leverage type so you put at risk 34 dollar and if the price reach your target you will make 61 dollar the reward is 2 and the risk is 1. So it's quite a good thing. It's the main also difference with binary option. It means in this specific trade, you will win 2 times what you invest. In binary, you win maximum 1 times and 85% most of the time. So it's not really 1 time. In Forex, doing this kind of strategy with 2 reward and 1 risk, if you win only 30% of your trade, you are still in profit. 30% of the trade, it's not a big deal, it's quite easy to achieve. But you have to control your risk reward in this kind of way. And even though, if you apply a 1 1 risk re reward ratio, you will go, for example, on 5 minutes because it's 15 minute trade. So this is my range. And you will analyze the trade. For example, let's say I enter the trade not on this red line, not on the upper red line, but on the lower red line, at this level exactly. Here. And I see... This one doesn't exist. And I see the price going against me and breaking my entry point, which is a good, uh, a good support on this example. If the price breaks this support and show me that it has qu quite strain going in the opposite direction, I can scratch my trade and exit right now. Which means my stop loss should have been, for example, here. I can exit my trade when I am here, if I see a good sign that my trade is not going to win. So, most of the time, if you look at your trade when you are in, and if you manage them well in the scalping way, I mean it's uh, you have to take care of your trade when you're in, you can be able to, to exit your trade when it's a losing one with a minimum loss. It's even better than the selling feature on IQ option, for example, because when you sell your position on binary option, most of the time you will lose 70 to 90% of your trading size. In Forex, if your entry point is here and you exit the trade here because you see it broke your level and it will go against you, you will just lose maybe 25 to 50% of your trade size, which is awesome because if you maximize your profits 
two times what you invest and in the, on the other end you are able to exit your trade when you see it's a losing one and you minimize your loss by half and sometimes more than that you will be able to still profit over all your trades nearly and you will have some losses it's obvious but you will lose less and you will win more than in the traditional binary option process which is why we try to improve our signal to provide forex signal more and to teach you how much as we can how to go in forex because on the long run and there is also less scam with reliable brokers and known worldwide and all that so it will be safer for your finance in the long run to go in the forex industry so the stop loss means simply that it will exit your trade automatically at a certain level and the target price do the same it will exit your trade at a certain level with profit for example let's say your trades go up so it leaves this range and it make a significant move and let's say you don't fix your target profit so the target profit doesn't exist but you put your stop by security because you know you will be stopped at this level and at least you put yourself only with a minimum risk. I really counsel you to keep the stop loss every time you place a trade. So once the price make a significant move here and let's say it get here but maybe it will never come back here and continue to go up. When you see this kind of movement, you can trail your stop from here. You just click on it and you move it at the place you want. So first step is to make it break even. And you say, so let's say you trail your stop because it doesn't permit me to do it. First here, your entry point is as the first red and after some times your stop loss, which make you secure, will exit your trade with a little profit. Not a lot, but with a little. And let's say your price, so continue to go up retrace a little but doesn't touch your stop loss and then continue to go up significantly and breaks the previous high now you can take your stop loss and move it to a little below the next the next higher high and so on let's say it's a very strong uptrend and it continue to go this way the price managed to take this one so it touch not your stop loss but the previous high sorry my stop loss will be a little below so my stop loss will be uh, something like here and then breaks again the previous high here you can trail your stop again here just below the top so if the price bounce and the trend is strong it will continue to bounce at the previous high but without touching your stop loss and so on so forth and doing that so sometimes maybe it will touch, huh? but even if it touch, you entered here and your stop loss exit you with security with 323 micro pips, which can be uh, a value of maybe uh, $100, something like that, depending on the size you place in your trade. But if you put at risk, for example, $1 in 34 pips and you win 300 it means you will place one trade size of one dollar and you will win ten dollars it is ten times what you invest in a single trade using the method of the trailing stop with a strong uptrend and when you have a strong congestion like that it's not impossible it happens all the time when you have a strong congestion and more stronger the congestion is more stronger will be the movement next so if you just apply the trailing stop and it's, if it's according to the previous trend, it's even better. You will make more and more and more and more profit in a single trade. So this trade might take one day, maybe two days, but at least you win 10 times what you invest. So if you follow the, for the millionaire project, for example, 5% each day, you will be able to accomplish your 5% only with one trade sometimes. So it's even better than binary on this way. And depending on the risk that you put yourself, you will be able to make more. So that's the beauty of, of Forex trading. And doing that, in binary, the more that you can win will be 100% of your trade, which, which makes the probability a little against you. And you have to have a strategy that will win minimum 56% of your trade. In Forex, if you have a good strategy and you succeed to manage your trade well and increase your profit, you will need only 30% of your trade to be winning trade 
to still make profit. And the second thing is, when you see the trade goes against you, for example, you see this specific pattern of candle. You have a little doji, and after this, no, hammer, sorry, this hammer, which is an indecision mark, and after that you have a candle, a big white candle who breaks the low. So it says to me, okay, now the power is going down. So if you see that kind of pattern going against your trade, it, when as soon as this candle breaks this one, if your entry point is lower, for example here, your entry point is here, if you see that kind of pattern, you can exit your trade at this level exactly, because you see the odds are against you, and it will be a false breakout or something like that. And doing so, if your stop loss is here, it means you put at risk $2, and you exit from here to here, you have 50 pips, and you exit only with micro pips, and you exit only with 10 micro pips. It means you will risk and you will lose only 0.5 dollar maybe if you invest 2 dollar at risk with the stop loss so it's awesome because you will lose only 25 percent of your trading size so if you increase your profit trailing your stop and so on and so forth again 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 and you decrease your loss be by scratching your trade getting out of your trade before it takes your stop you will increase your probability and your success rate uh, with a very very huge percentage and you will still make profit in an easier way more consistently than in binary option because you don't have this uh, option when you sell your option in binary you will lose at least 50 percent and sometimes it will be most of the time it will be between 70 to 90 from sometimes 95 percent of your trade if you use correctly the selling feature in forex Doing so, you can minimize really, you can lose only 20% of your trading size. 20%, it's nothing. And when you win one trade, you can overcome the loss of five losing trades sometimes. So it's not all the time like that, you will have losing trade too. But this is a way to minimize your loss and maximize your profit and make you really more profitable day after day. You can place simultaneously order. You can place a buy limit here with a little stop loss that you can place here, for example, if you expect a bounce from a support or resistance. So you place a tight stop loss with a lot of uh, a little money, and you expect the movement to make two times at least your stop loss, and don't break it. And if it break it, you can place the same order a little lower here, for example, and you will make a continuation trade going going this way, and you put your stop loss, for example, let's say here, and your your profit target will be here. It means you can have two orders ready to trigger and if the price behave in one direction you have a winning trade and if the price behave in the other direction you lose a little part, you, you lose a little trade but you have the possibility to win two or three times the size of the next which will cover nearly all the time your trading size. Does it make sense? Do you understand all that? You can move the take profit also. You can trail your stop and trail your stop profit. It is exactly the same process. For example, okay, let's put a sell stop, penny order, and you put profit uh, 1.0887, for example. I don't put stop loss, so you can see it. So this is an automatic sell stop, continuation of the, of the trend going down, and my taking profit is here. If I see the price go here quite with strength, I can take, click here and move my target profit. And I say modify. And that's it. And it will modify again and again and again until I, until I don't modify it. You can trail your target profit and you can trail your stop loss. And you can let your trade go in automatic way if you apply the risk reward, one risk and two reward, for example. If you trade on a tight range and you adapt your size a lot, your volume, compared to what you want to put at risk and you put your trade. So there is a lot of good point trading forex. The first is when you, re you receive a signal, you don't have to wait in front of your computer. You can set your trade and go for your daily work and uh, it will take maybe one hour in the morning and after the rest of, the, of your day, 
your software will take care of your trade if you set a stop loss and um, and a target profit it will be automatic and then uh, the second well, which is what i conceal if you have time you place an alert where you enter where your trade will be entered and you monitor your trade and if you see a sign that your trade goes against you you exit before the stop loss which will reduce your your loss and maximize your profit on the long run any question to a start it can be it can be good for you all to know that how to place a trade and with metatrader it's quite uh, quite easy and it can seem complicated but in fact it's not so much complicated more about calculating the lot sorry for the noise actually jim it this was my my problem calculating the the lot size and now uh, i don't uh, i don't compute it exactly i just place my trade with a specific uh, volume you will have to test because different uh, trading accounts have different leverage, which means the broker will lend you more money or less money depending on the choice of your leverage when you open your account. So it will be different for each one of you. What is good and what permits you to, to compute your trading size is to open a, a position like that, so new order. And my volume is 1, as you can see. So I will play, I will place 0.1. And I will just look at my stop loss and see what it says to me. Okay. Now it should work. Okay, good. So once you place your trade with 0 0.01 volume, you will just have to put your cursor in there and you will see the size. So, for example, your stop loss means 0 0.63. If you want to place $1, for example, you want to put yourself at risk with $1, you will have to put the same order with a volume of 0 0.02. Does it make sense? Do you get it? But it's uh, it's about trial and error. There is not really a good way to, to calculating because every currency pair will have a different payout, a different value for one micro pips, and you will have to make your trial and error and see what is the right volume to place. But this is something very important that you really have to monitor. It means when you place your pending order like that, you just go on your stop loss and it will tell you you will lose $63, 0.63. So if I want to be at nearly $1, I will place, I will double my lot, which will be 0 0.02. And this will be, and my volume, I change it here and I put 0 0.02 to make it around $1. Which is important is the relation between the entry point and the stop loss. The target, you can always modify it. But this way, now you will see, if you want to tell to me, yeah, 0 0.70. So you adjust, you have to, to adjust your volume to make it worse. Uh, the values that, that you want. If you want to place five dollars, you will have to increase your volume to 0 0.06, maybe 0 0.7, something like that, and so on and so forth. You define your value this way, but it will be trial and error, and it will depend on each currency pairs. So you will have to place maybe sometimes three different penny order to analyze what will be the exact volume that you have to take. But this value of your stop loss is very important and this will define your profit also. Okay, no problem Elijah. I was explaining totally uh, the first shot when there was no sound for you. So, for example, uh, let me delete this one. Okay. So, I make a pending order. If it's a buy limit, the price should be put below the actual price like here. So it means the price when it will touch it will buy like um, like a bounce of a support here or a resistance same. So buy limit will be must be a price below the actual price and will make something like a bounce. So let's take it pending order buy limit and the price will be 8883 so 1.08883 and this is successful if you place the same order with a buy stop it will not work so the, the software will tell you let me show you I will place the same new order pending order and I will make a buy stop 
at this level, so which is 1.08883. Invalid stop loss or target profile profit. It is not the reality. The problem is I selected the wrong the wrong item here. It's not a buy stop, it's a buy limit because it will be a bounce. If I want to make a buy stop, I need to place a price above the actual price. So the actual price is here, 0 0.8920. I need to place a price 0 0.8972. 8972. And now the buy stop should work. And as you see, it perfectly works. So this is the difference. The, the buy limit means it will be a bounce, and the stop means it will be a continuation. So when the price will touch this level, it will go for a call and continuation of this actual movement, and the price must be above the actual price. But don't worry if you don't understand and don't remember exactly what it is, the software itself will will tell you. If it doesn't allow you to place the trade, it means you selected the wrong here. And you just have to change. So if you want to buy, you just have two, two possibilities, buy limit or buy sell or buy stop. And if it's not the right, it will not place your trade. So no worries about that. And the same apply with the sell. If you want to sell above your price, you take a sell limit. If you want to sell below your price as a continuation, it will be a sell stop. That's how it works. Is it clear for you? Do you understand? Elijah? Okay, perfect. At first I was like you, I was having difficulty to understand why there is difference, what's the point, and in fact, uh, by practicing you realize this is why it happened. When it's a bounce, it will be a limit. If it's a continuation or breaking of a level, it will be a stop. That's how it works. Any more questions? Good. You're welcome, Asia. At your service. If I can help you, it will help all of us and to success even for the millionaire project because it can be easier for us to make profit and not uh, and minimize our loss for the millionaire project. And on the long run, uh, Forex is well known to be a very good vehicle to to make uh, to make money. And a lot of millionaires have made million on the forex, so why not us? That's it. So that's it for today. Some money I will like for you to teach me candle pattern. I can. I already teach live webinar with all my strategy, and the price action is a part of my strategy. So if you want to take webinar from from the beginning of a trading journey of a professional trader until a total strategy that is proven and makes money to all my students. Whenever you feel like, ask me. I will be happy to, to give you a webinar. No problem with that. You are welcome. So I hope it has been good and you know more about Forex now and you can start soon. Have a good day. Bye.